The new update includes improvements on vehicle creation wizard as well. Auto finding the wheel models will save remarkable time and work. Wizard will try to find possible game objects with shape of a wheel and pick them. All you need to do is just verifying the selection. Let's test it with another vehicle model. Also, Wizard can inform you if your vehicle model has wrong pivot position or axis orientation. Your vehicle model should be suitable for the vehicle controller. Therefore, axis orientation of the vehicle model should be correct. In this example, the vehicle model has incorrect axis orientation, and also wheel models are part of the main body. They are not separated. Even if I proceed, Wizard can't find any possible wheel models because they are merged to each other. Most popular models published on the Asset Store are using proper pivot position and axis orientation. The new LOD component will allow vehicles to enable or disable certain components attached to them. Depending on the distance to the main camera, LOD component will enable or disable the most heavier components of the vehicle. With this optimization, we can have much more active vehicles in the scene. Let's test it by increasing distance of the main camera. As you can see, only necessary components are alive at this distance. Restoring the distance value of the main camera. Depending on distance of the main camera, the LOD component will enable other components now. The previous versions weren't using the RPC methods when colliding with the other vehicle with Photon. This new version uses the RPC methods to apply proper and accurate forces to the other vehicle. The possibility of bugs and glitches on collisions has been significantly reduced. We can see collisions are buggy on the previous version. Let's have a look at how the new version works. 